so today we are supposed to have um, wear your school colors because it's court warming, but I had already planned a snowy theme day and I had to postpone it because of snow days before. And so I just went, well, I'm gonna wear my snowy stuff and uh, I'll have to be school colors and spirit because I can't just keep putting this off. So we are gonna do snowy themed activities to review math and ELA skills today. I think the students are gonna have a lot of fun with it. So that double digit subtraction, oh my. So we're gonna be practicing that a couple different times, a couple different ways. So I've got my snowman escape. It's save the snowman that I've made. I'm gonna be doing that. And also a little kind of a craftivity thing where they have to uh, sort the snowballs into regrouping and not regrouping and solve the problems and then they create two snowmen. A regrouping snowman and a non-regrouping snowman. So I think they'll enjoy that. We're also going to have kind of like a read-in time, which we always have reading time, but I'm just kind of making it fun, where they can take their blankets and kind of like make a snow fort with them over their chair or over their desk, and they can lay on a mat on the floor and read. I think they'll enjoy that. And then we'll have a snowball math facts fight and possibly a compound word snowball fight because those are some skills that we're working on right now. I'm going to have to turn my defroster on, so I'm sorry if it gets kind of loud. And my jingly bracelet. <laughs> so I have this little snowy bracelet here. I don't know if you can really see that. Here we go. Things. But, yeah. But I'll wear that. It was freaking Pikachu out, if you remember. Whenever he was little and I took him to the vet to get his um, neutering done, they took off his collar. Well, somehow they lost it for a while. So he was without his collar for mm, three or four days. And they mailed it to us because they found it. Well, when we got it out again, he wanted to have nothing to do with it. The jingly sound drove him crazy. He would get scared and run away and hide. So anytime he hears that kind of sound, he freaks and runs away. So anytime I get out my Christmas jewelry that has like little jingle bells on it, he freaks. <laughs> so he freaked when I had this on today. And I'm like, dude, it doesn't even sound like your collar. Come on. So he was like crouched down in a chair looking at me like, what are you doing? So I just went over and pet him. I'm like, it's okay, dude. Bye, I'll see you later. I love you. <laughs> so hopefully he can just chill out the rest of the day since I won't be there to scare him. Of course, if I was home, I wouldn't be wearing this, but I'll make sure and take it off when I get home so I don't freak him out anymore. Poor little guy. Ugh. So yes, we have all kinds of interesting things happening today. We have our recognition assembly this morning. So we recognize our terrific kids, our good citizen for the month, and it's all based on the character trait of safety. So we chose one student out of our class that represented safety the best for the month. Plus we had weekly terrific kids. Eh. <laughs> I think we had two for the month maybe because of the snow days. Like the terrific kid this week, he uh, only got to be a terrific kid three days. So um, usually there's enough time in the year for each kid to be a terrific kid um, twice. But uh, I don't know if we're going to be doing it that much this time because of all the snow days. All right, I'm picking up my friend because she needs to drop her car off at the uh, repair shop. So I'm just coming around here to follow her to the repair shop. I almost missed the turn. I almost forgot what I was doing. Oops. But I saw her sitting there. So I don't know if she sees me or not. Okay. I'm going to go and I'll catch back up with you at school. It's been a busy, busy morning. We've gotten a lot done. So, oh, I was going to show you this. Check it out. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I didn't end up going all out for my kind of snowed in thing. That's okay. We're still doing fun activities. I brought this little snow person from home and this little snow person from home. I moved the fireplace over. On top of here is where I put the envelopes for the lockbox activity, the escape. And I'll figure out where I put them and I'll show you. That's oh, on the table. Duh. Wow. So I've got my newsletter here, my Valentine party letter here. Here's the snowman escape. So there were all different kinds of challenges. There's one of them, but these were laid across the mantle of the fireplace. All right, show you my shirt real quick. Teaching is so much fun. And then I have these leggings on. Cute. 
and boots and some snowman earrings saw this in the car Can you see it there we go okay so i'm just trying to get everything stuck back together so i'm gonna lose it all we do have one lost thing they lost the direction card somehow i don't know how I'm like i don't know it didn't go anywhere so i don't know but we are working on well most people are finished with actually this regrouping and no regrouping snowman and I told them they could put snowflakes on there if they wanted to. So as they finish, they're putting them in the hallway. I did project it on the board. I helped them with the regrouping portion because that's kind of tricky. Didn't want them to be all frustrated. I've given them each. I don't even know where it went. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe somebody has one out. I'll show you. Oh yes. I made this just so they could keep track of things. So the activities that are coloring in the snowman, as we do them, we're not gonna get to everything and that's okay. I made a table of contents to go with the activities. So we actually did the first two. This was the escape. This was the snowman that I just showed you on the board. This I had intended to do after recess until lunch, but we weren't done with this. So this will be after lunch and we may not get to much of this stuff, but it's okay. That's all right, we're gonna do some facts practice snowball fight. That's what the snow igloo things are. Anyway, that's probably all we'll get done is the reading, like the Flashlight Friday thing, and the fact throwing, snowball thing. Snowball fact throwing. Snowball fight, snowball fact fight. Wow, it's Friday, and I don't have an excuse because I only had three days of school this week, so I don't know what to tell you. Weird. I'm going to heat up my breakfast actually because I brought muffins I had one for breakfast Caitlin made muffins yesterday and so I grabbed a couple for breakfast and then I told you that I took my friend to the car place so she could drop it off and we stopped by McDonald's so I got an egg McMuffin and I got a mocha frappe and I drank the mocha frappe I thought I'm gonna save this for lunch and I eat a muffin for breakfast so this will be my lunch I'm gonna heat that up real quick okay while that is heating I will probably attempt to show you what we were gonna do the rest of the day. So, okay, here's one of the things. The snowy subtraction spin thing. I'll show that to you on the computer once it gets on. My poor buddy teacher's little girl is sick, so she's not here today. So we have a wonderful substitute teacher next door. And this morning the board wasn't working. It was saying it needed to be updated, which requires a password, which nobody has but the teacher. So that was interesting, but for some reason just started randomly working again, so yay. Okay, here is the subtraction spin thing. Here is what it looks like. That's the snowy subtraction spin. And so they spin both spinners and they make a subtraction fact and they write it here. There's a recording sheet. And I just made that to go with our subtraction for now because that's we're in subtraction land. So I need to print these. But I have a whole bunch of things I need to print for next week <laughs> because I did my lesson plans yesterday and I need to get everything ready from those. The good thing is that some of it will be from this week. But some of it I'm just not going to do because you can't make up everything that you've missed. You just can't. you got to do the most important things. So that is what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to eat my Egg McMuffin drink some water and get some stuff printed for next week. So I don't have so much to do Monday when I come in. So it's not a flurry of activity. So I will catch you up at the end of the day and let you know how everything went. So far, the kids are really enjoying it. I haven't told them about the reading thing yet. So I asked them to bring a blanket and a pillow. And some of them were like, we're supposed to bring a blanket and a pillow. When do we know that? And I said, well, I sent a note home on Tuesday. That was the blue paper you took home. Oh, well, of course that was three days ago. Plus I sent it on remind yesterday. And I said, that's okay, because when I tell you what we're doing with them, we might be able to use some of the tablecloths that I have in here for the same thing. Because I'm going to like let them make blanket forts over the desks and the chairs. And they can read under them on those mats that I have so they're not on the floor. And with a flashlight. So that'll be nice. And I'll have the little fireplace going with the music behind it from YouTube. All the lights will be down. I might even close the blinds back here so it's a little darker. It'll be more, it'll be more serene, I guess is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna 
do all the things and I'll try to check back in with you at the end of the day and let you know how everything went. But I think I have a meeting. I mean, I always have a meeting on Friday, but I think I have a different meeting. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. And then I need to take my friend home. So I won't be able to talk to you in the car because my friend will be with me. But maybe I can talk to you after I drop her off. Sounds like a plan to me. I'll see you then. Good afternoon. It's 5.02. I just dropped my friend off to get her car. We had a long talk in the car, just kind of catching up about some stuff and talking about some things. My meeting was really good. I went to a different meeting than my grade level meeting today during PLC time. Since I'm on the standards based grading committee and we talked about next steps for moving forward with our first proficiency scale. I remember the name. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Oh, also, we have to come up with, um, as a grade level, two days that we can all meet together to make up for some of those snow days that we had to um, make up for the collaboration time that was lost. So, not a big deal. Except it's kind of hard to coordinate that many people. <laughs> I mean, there's only, I guess there's eight of us. There's eight of us that need to coordinate schedules, so it makes it a little difficult. It's not too hard for me to come up with times because I don't really have a lot of things going on in the time frame that we need to do this. The very, very beginning of summer, like right when school gets out to like June 26th is kind of our time frame. So I don't have anything planned at that point. And I don't have little kids that have to worry about babysitting and all that stuff. So it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna be hard for me to be agreeable to a date and time, but not everybody is in my boat. So we'll just have to see how that works out. But. You know, I only worked three days this week. <laughs> I was joking with my principal when we had a meeting. When we had the PD meeting on Tuesday, which was the last time we were at school until today. <laughs> I said, you know, I'm not sure I can do a five-day week anymore. I don't have the stamina. <laughs> she started laughing. She's like, right? I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I can do it anymore. I'm so used to not having five days. I'm not sure I'm going to make it. So maybe next week we'll have a five-day week. Maybe, but I think there's stuff in the forecast. It snowed a little today. We were sitting in the meeting during our PLC time and there were snowflakes falling. And I was like, are you kidding me? It didn't really amount to anything. It was pretty. It didn't stay at all. But we're just like, seriously? Cause this, this is the meeting that always gets canceled because we have a snow day. <laughs> Crazy. So today it did not get canceled. So maybe we're on the upswing. Woohoo! Maybe we can actually make some progress. That'd be nice. Okay, let me catch you up on the rest of my day. So last time I talked to you was lunchtime. After lunch, I surprised my little classroom family with snow fort reading. It wasn't really snow, but blanket forts. So I had told them they could bring their pillows on their blankies. And I said, okay, I'll tell you what that's for later. Well, it's later. So I told them that they were going to get to use their blanket to make a little like blanket fort or snow fort over the desks or the chairs and we'd figured out and a lot of kids were like oh I didn't bring my blanket I didn't know we were supposed to because I sent the note home on Tuesday well that was more than five minutes ago so of course you know people have forgotten I did send a remind text with the note yesterday but you know, not everybody reads those or remembers them or you know whatever and I said well you know what you can do you can use some of the tablecloths that we have used for classroom transformations because I have a whole stack of them right here so I can lay those across the chairs or the tables and make you a little fort and I had them lay on the little mats that I have for rest and read time and they loved it the only problem was there was more fiddling around getting the fort just right than there was actual reading time I think because <laughs> they kept having to move things around and do things a little bit and then I had to get them you know they were like ee! they were they thought it was really funny and I gave them flashlights it was flashlight fort reading and they thought that was amazing so they totally want to do it again so I'm thinking when we do read across America week which is the first week of March because it generally falls around Dr. Seuss's birthday which is March 2nd when we do that week instead of focusing on Dr. Seuss as in the past I'm gonna just do a reading week and I think I'm gonna do a camping theme the entire week and it could be like camp read a lot or something like that and they can read in tents and in forts and all kinds of cool stuff because I've been collecting camping stuff for the last two years and doggone it I'm gonna use it so yeah I'm gonna do it up especially since it's for a week I'm gonna make it a big thing it'll be super fun 
so I think they'll really really enjoy that now of course we'll do regular stuff too I mean we're not just gonna quit doing everything and just read all day which that actually sounds really nice to me but <laughs> yeah we'll still do everything else too but with the camping twist so I think that's gonna be a really fun way to celebrate reading I think maybe each day we might focus on a particular author that has a particular style of writing so they can kind of compare. I used to do author studies every month and I just I just don't have time for it anymore. I hate that. But I always focus on one author a month. Haven't done that for a while so I can throw some of those awesome authors in there so they can know about some maybe they didn't know about or maybe they didn't realize that they knew about. So that's going to be super fun. So I think they're really going to enjoy that since they enjoyed the fort reading today. After that, I did not get to the math fact snowball fight. <laughs> I didn't get to do the subtraction spinner snowman thing. There just wasn't time. So that's okay. We did what we could do. And I do want them to do that snowman spinner game next week, probably sometime. as kind of like a station or an extra thing or something because it is good practice for subtraction with regrouping. And my goodness, we definitely need more practice <laughs> for sure. So I did want go ahead and copy it and got it ready. I told them, please don't take home your little snowed in at school books because we haven't done everything in those. But I think I can probably, ooh, there's something in my mailbox is big. Um, oh, there we go. I told them, ooh, there's another piece in there. We can, sorry, very distracted. <sighs> so we can probably put some of those math things in through the week and it won't take up like other time you know what I mean so it'd be a nice extra practice kind of thing for the math that we're already doing in go math so it'll complement those things because they're having a heck of a time some of them today whenever we were doing our snowman escape which was really awesome they loved it one of the girls was like I love it when we do these she goes, because we always get a prize at the end. I said, yeah, you get rewarded for your hard work, don't you? And she's like, yeah, we totally do. So that's always good to get rewarded for your hard work. We all love that, don't we? That's why we get a paycheck. It's a reward for our hard work. So we did that. And then after the snow fort reading, I said, oh, we have to dismantle our forts because our awesome reading teacher's coming to do a lesson with us. And she did a really cool lesson on note-taking for nonfiction informational writing. And so they got to practice that. We're using um, a lot of the Jennifer Saravello writing strategies things and reading strategies. We have both of those books. Our PTA organization was generous enough to get those for every teacher. So really awesome. There's so much in there. My goodness. You know, there's so much in there you can't even know it all because there's so much. A lot of things to choose from and a lot of great information. So that was the end of our day. And then I had early buses for about a hot second and then it was time for them to go. <laughs> so I took them to the bus and then I got a few things copied for next week so I can start out my week with some things. I'll have to do some more on Monday, but that's fine. And then it was time for my meeting. And then I talked a little bit and I took my friend to her car and here I am. So that was the rest of my day. Not a lot happening, but what did happen was really good and beneficial. Kids got extra practice on their double digit subtraction with and without regrouping. So that was really good. And they were motivated to do it because they wanted to get to the next challenge. So yay. Ah, and now it is the weekend. So I'm going to go in and put on my PJs and feed all my kitties and probably have pizza and movie night because I got... Terminator Dark Fate, which is the newest Terminator that was out over the summer, I think. And I also got Zombieland Double Tap, which we have the other Zombieland. So we've got some of our series that we like. So I'm going to go do that and I'll talk to you next week. Mm -hmm.